Please welcome Group Vice President and General Manager, Toyota Division, Toyota Motor North America, Jack Hollis. All right, good morning. All right, let's get serious together for a moment. It's the final day, right? You're feeling, you've been here a lot, you've been walking around a lot. Bump the person next to you, spread out, you've been with them all day, and here we go. Good morning. It's gonna be a great day. The, the Eli Auto Show people were extremely smart and they saved the single best for right now, right here, so thanks for being with us. Now, we're happy to have you all here, no doubt. And we are honored to be back at the Los Angeles Auto Show. And uh, you know what, it's been an exciting year for Toyota. And LA, as you know, holds a, you know, a special place in our hearts. This year marks the 60th anniversary of Toyota here in the US. Now, back in 1957, we started with one dealership, which was actually just right up the street here in Hollywood. And it's still there to this day. Okay, so now fast forward a few decades with me and joining our first dealership, we now have 10 manufacturing and assembly plants, over 1,200 dealerships, and over 136,000 people working across the US. Now, specifically here in California, we are proud of our 2,300 team members who oversee our regional office, the port, parts and distribution centers, our Toyota Research Institute, and those down at Toyota's Calty Design Studio in Newport Beach. Now, together, over the past 60 years, we've accomplished and we've learned a lot. And as we continue to look towards the next 60 years, the decision to bring all of our affiliates together in one location was done so that we can collaborate better, innovate better, and make smarter decisions. And we're doing just that at our new headquarters in Plano, Texas. Now, while it's not totally in the books yet, 2017 has been exceptional. Now, while early in the year, the forecasts were you know, for a small you know, sales, a little overall sales dip, we are now on pace to have an increase in the all important retail sales. And just last month, we sold over 165 cars and trucks uh, throughout the country. Now on our manufacturing side, the team members around the country are busy building a variety of models to the highest quality standards. At our Princeton, Indiana plant, we recently built our five millionth vehicle, a beautiful Sequoia Platinum. Now that's an incredible milestone for any plant and an accomplishment that we're going to celebrate for a long time. Well, until we build our six millionth. Now, this summer, we launched the all-new, eighth-generation 2018 Camry, America's best-selling car for the last 15 years in a row. And we continue to be a firm believer in the midsize sedan segment. And as my kids would say, we've leveled up our pride and joy with exciting ingredients like breathtaking design, thrilling performance, and standard active safety features like Toyota Safety Sense. Now at Toyota, our dedication to Kaizen, or continuous improvement, has never been as prolific as it is right now. All right, so listen. I'm not a big fan of uh, boxes. You probably aren't either. Thinking outside of them, it's a given at Toyota. Our teams are not limited to traditional thinking. You know, thinking beyond, above, below, around, ordinary ways. Well, that's exactly how we at Toyota approach every single aspect of vehicle development. We have to. In fact, our boundary breaking concept vehicles are proof positive of our approach. Now check out you know, the bright orange FT4X, which we debuted last April. How many people were there? Seriously, let me know. Not enough of you, you better be there next time. But here's the deal, what it exemplified is the deeper emotional connection that we believe our guests will feel from every vehicle beyond just that simply being, you know, kind of wowed by extraordinary design. The FT4X is always ready for spontaneous getaways. Now, it's pretty evident where the industry is going, right? And why consumers are flocking to SUVs. Because SUVs provide versatility when needed and empower the driver to be spontaneous, whether it's close to home, you know, for inner city explorations, or outdoor adventures that take them, like, to the mountains. So providing the right instrument for a wide mix of adventures, be they on paved roads or not, is something that we have learned 
from these three iconic nameplates, the Forerunner, the Tacoma, and the Land Cruiser. And you're going to find that DNA from those off-road kings throughout the concept vehicle that we're about to show you. So all right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to level up once again. It's my pleasure to present our next level in our adventure-loving lineup. Take a look at the future Toyota adventure concept. Yeah, don't be restrained. I know. Yeah, I love it too. Now, as you can tell, the FTAC's bold and daring design reflects the confident spirit of our existing SUVs and trucks. It's complemented by the versatile advanced tech character that so many of today's millennials desire. And FTAC, it's a catalyst. It's both the invitation and the medium for breaking day-to-day -day routines and embracing the unexpected, helping users to be active and explore and, and take journeys even further. It reminds adventurers of all skill levels how remarkable the trip, not just the destination, can be. It's kind of like that wireless recharge after a long week. So, you know, going for a paddle on the river or climbing a favorite, you know, rock face or hitting a trail on your bike, FTAC is experience-centric. It, it compels. You know, any wheel time in FTAC brings genuine face time with the friends aboard. And no matter the roads or the doings or the people, FTAC sparks authentic fun and sparks conversation. And we have to admit, uh, the exterior, you know, it's aggressive. But come on, you're digging it, aren't you? All right. Now, what am I supposed to say right now? I'm supposed to talk about the vehicle. It's chiseled, right? And it's beefy. We hear all these words all the time. But it is! I mean, look at it. You've got to love this thing. You know, we spent decades off-road around the world, and that has been applied directly to this. The look challenges common SUV conventions and allows FTAC to stand out in any crowd. The pronounced wide front grille is flanked by advanced LED headlights. And check out the fog lights here later on. It, they brighten the road ahead during, you know, uh, you know, foul conditions and rough road. And it can even be taken out from their pods and used as portable lights, like, say, when you're camping. They can even be attached to a mountain bike for a night cruise. Now below, FTAC has twin hooks for vehicle recovery. Skid plates help protect the short front and rear overhang so the rocks and ruts won't slow the rig down. And a long wheelbase and wide track emphasize its powerful stance. Extra wide fender flares float above the aggressive all-terrain tires that are wrapped around the massive 20-inch wheels. And these unique fenders are complement uh, of the generous ground clearance and the contrast colors accentuate FTAC's personality. Okay, it's a concept car, so you always gotta wonder what kind of cool color names do we put on this? Well, how about this? The color is called Prospect Green with Fortress Gray accents. I mean, seriously, who comes up with these names? Well, I, I do. <laughs> um, and it's guaranteed to look even more phenomenal when you splatter it with mud. You gotta do that on your own. Now, but FTAC has more to offer than just rugged styling. It also has some side mirrors that are also infrared cameras. Because come on, who doesn't want to record your trail run? You might pull out the old school Polaroid, right, for the group photo, I get that. But the cameras and the side mirrors have you covered for everything else. Now, just like the fog lights, the cameras can be removed and mounted somewhere else. And knowing how connected we are all of us these days, right? This FTAC offers Wi-Fi connectivity to automatically upload footage to cloud-based storage or simply to live stream. Think about it. You're going to be able to edit and post from your phone. Amazing, right? Now, up top, take a look at the Safari-style cargo rack that hauls all kinds of gear. At the front of the roof rack sits a visor with ambient lighting. It also houses the little LED marker lights at its corners to brighten up the trail, but also acts as a flash for the embedded cameras. The rear-facing LED lights aid visibility when unloading, you know, like at your favorite campsite. And get this, all of these lights can be controlled from your cell phone. Now, one of the coolest features can be hidden away in just a couple of seconds. At the rear, you can look at it in a few minutes, is an integrated bike rack that can be stowed away when not in use. Now, how's that for handy? And sorry, but that specialized bike on the back, it's mine, it's not yours, get your own. 
It's not included. But all right, so what's underneath this bad boy? We can't say, but we can tease. We envision the FTAC to have torque vectoring all-wheel drive, variable terrain response settings, and four-wheel lock functionality, maximizing grip at each wheel for a more dynamic driving experience. We also envision FTAC to offer a hybrid powertrain option that provides more than just fuel efficiency, but also includes kind of that rugged grunt. Because who says a hybrid can only play on pavement? Better dynamics, more power and capability, and impressive fuel economy. Yes, have it all without compromise. So be it hiking, biking, kayaking, or just, I don't know, having a meal out in the middle of nowhere, FT FTAC has all the ingredients for your next adventure. Now, speaking of adventures, we want to tell you about one more thing that we've embarked on as one of our biggest adventures yet, with an Olympics sponsorship campaign that runs through 2024, where we are the only mobility brand. We're, we're working closely with the International Olympic and Paralympic Committees to implement sustainable, more efficient, and safer mobility solutions for the games, and more importantly, for society as a whole. And we're excited to support all the phenomenal Team Toyota athletes as they inch closer toward achieving their dreams at the Olympic Games in Pyeongchang. They'll soon be traveling there and we're gonna be cheering them on. So, all right. Now, before we invite everyone up here on stage to take a closer look, please allow a few moments for the photographers to take some photos. Thank you again for being here. And like I said, they saved the best for last. Thank you for being right here. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, the vehicle on stage is for exterior photography only. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, thanks for joining us. We're here at the LA Auto Show and we just revealed the future Toyota Adventure concept known as FTAC. Just take a look at the entire vehicle. It starts with this cool color. Prospect Green is what we call it, with accents that are called Fortress Gray. All right, take a look at the entire huge grill. DNA comes from Land Cruiser, Forerunner, Off-Road, our adventure vehicles. I want you to take a look at these fog lights. How often do we highlight those? Not very often, but we should, and here's why. These can snap out. You can take them anywhere. You can use them in your campsite. You can put them on your bike when you take a ride. Multi-purpose, that's what this is about. Spontaneous action and activity all the time on your adventure. Vehicle recovery hooks, but take a look at just the boldness of this whole front end. You got these skid plates both in the front and the rear. You gotta have those protecting you on all the rocks, ruts you're gonna run over, because we don't want anything getting in your way. But check out kind of the wide fender flares and the huge size of these things. They're not just cool looking, really functional. They kind of float though right above the wheels and tires. Now look at the massive 20 inch wheels. Take a look up top, the safari style cargo rack. How about these lights up here, these LEDs, there's both in the front and the back. Now, lights are lights, but how about this? You can control them all with your phone. I know, it's very cool. Infrared cameras on the side so you can record all of your trail runs, anything you wanna do, they are also removable. And these in conjunction, are, it's kinda of like a light for your camera. Look across the side, bold side, high clearance, and how cool would this car look with mud thrown all over it? I mean, that's what an SUV and off-road vehicle should be. So as we come around the back, close out this great vehicle, this bike rack, it can be stowed away in just seconds. But let's use it for an adventure. This is my bike, get your own. Listen, this vehicle has all the ingredients for your next adventure. Future Toyota. So what do you think? <laughs>